All right, a follow-up on a few little things about lights that I talked about in recent videos. Remember that video on snoots I just did where I got all upset about the uh, <laughs> The grid that Godox makes that goes on this this uh, AD S2 for the AD200. How it's a 50 degree grid, and it's basically useless because it's really widespread. And I, I hate this thing. I forgot what I said in a previous video before that. Remember how I said that Godox based its stuff on quantum and quantum stuff is interchangeable with Godox stuff? Well, guess what I found. Now. I can afford anything to buy anything that I want. I just got an A7R5 and this didn't excite me that much. This is like not, ugh, it doesn't, cameras for some reason don't excite me. You know what excited me the most when I got it in the mail is this thing. This got me so excited. <laughs> Quantum makes a clip-on honeycomb set of three different grids. It's a set of three grids for the Q-Flash. 10 degree, 20 degree, and 30 degree. And guess what? It clips right onto the AD200, uh, ADS2, four and a half inch. Look at that. Got my 10 degree grid. Unbelievable, I have a 20 and a 30 also. This is what it looks like when you have the standard reflector with diffuser. This is what it looks like with the 30 degree, 20 degree, and 10 degree. So I finally got my 10 degree grid. And of course the snoot, the snoot just puts a little tiny thing of light. This thing puts out a more substantial amount of light. I got my 10 degree grid, comes in a set of three from Quantum, I'll put the link down below. It is $132, but you're getting three different grids. And I, I love, I'm so excited about this. I got it, I got another set on the way. This excited me the most out of anything I got recently because you know how much I use the 8200 and I can put a spot of light now with this thing. Really, really excited about that. Um, okay, on to the next thing. Uh, my my uh, smallest, brightest, uh, portable, most portable light. You know, I talk about the Stellar Reflex and my second choice was the Melt Well Making, which I love <laughs> the, the, the funny name thing. I love this light, I bought, I have four of them now. I took off the Bowens mount, and I like it because it's so small and self-contained, it uses a, a proprietary 14.8 volt uh, well-making battery that goes right on the side here. And so now this is the whole light. Like there's no cables, no cords, no nothing, there's no dangly thing. This is the whole light, and it it's really, really bright. Here's what it looks like when you use it outside. Okay, so here I am outside in the shade. My face is pretty dark. I exposed for the background. So let's turn on a couple of well-making lights that are literally within arm's reach of me. This is a great portable video lighting vlog setup for just hiking and traveling. These things are so small and so lightweight. They're self-contained. Got a tiny little RX100 camera here. So this is very portable. It's so easy to use. I love this. This is a Sony 5100 with a Viltrox 33mm 1.4 with an ND filter on the front. Notice how dark the background is and nice and blurry. That's because I could make these lights are so bright that I could actually darken the background with an ND filter and get this nice bokeh or whatever is blurry background effect. All right, I just switched it out with a Samsung NX500 with a little 30 millimeter lens on there just to see what it would look like. Look at that bl blue rich sky and look at that blurry background. Look at my face. Isn't everything amazing? And now I'm using a little Lumix G100, the camera that everybody hates. Well, look at the shot you can get. Look at how amazing this is. I'm using a 42.5 lens and that's a bright sunny day back there. I made it nice and dark blue rich sky. Look at that background and it's blurry because these lights are bright enough. So you can get an amazing amazing vlog look with a cheap little camera that nobody likes and two little lights that weigh nothing. It's just amazing. So that's what it looks like when you use it outside and the thing is so portable and it uses just a little battery on the side. Now this is 14.8 volts. Most NP batteries are 7.4 volts. So this is double the voltage. Um, now 14.8 volts, I don't know if you recognize that voltage. That's the same voltage as a V-mount battery. And something I didn't mention in that last video, you see that little plug there? You can actually plug a V-mount battery into the well-making, just like you can with the Aperture 
uh, you can plug a, a V mount into the aperture. The aperture said you can't, but at least the person I talked to on the phone said you can. I don't think she knew what she was talking about. You can plug a, a V mount battery into the aperture, and you can also plug it into the well making pretty much most lights uh, like this. You actually, you can plug a V mount into because it's 14.8 volts. Now, here's the well making. Here's the little bag that the well making comes with. It comes with a cute little bag, and I'm going to show you what it comes with real quick. It comes with, of course, you can plug it in the wall. Uh, DC, it's AC DC. No comments, please. Comes with a little, uh, uh, you know, what do you call it? A thing for uh, whatever. Anyway, and this is kind of cool. This is something that you can plug into the side here, and here you can plug two normal of. Uh, NP batteries into the 7.4 volts, the more common ones. So now you can have you have your choice: two normal 7.4 volt uh, NP batteries, which plug into the side. The only thing I don't like about it, just like I did with the aperture, you got this dangly thing with the batteries now, which I don't like. Or you can pay a little extra and get the 14.8 volt battery, which just goes right on the side here, and. That's the whole thing, it's self-contained. I like this. Now you can buy a, a set of two of these plus the charger for $89 and each battery gives you 30 minutes. So that's quite a bit of time for one of these batteries. So 30 minutes for one of these and you get two of these plus the charger for $89. So that's pretty good. And something else I did with the, oh, and then the well making also comes with um, a remote, which I never use. This is a, I mean, you can turn it remotely on and off and do whatever. I personally don't need the remote. I don't need any of these fancy stuff. Um, anyway, oh, by the way, this is the other thing. Now, speaking of NP batteries, uh, I'm not NP, uh, V mount batteries. Look at this. This is a V mount battery. This is so small. Look how tiny this thing is. This is a small rig VB99 mini V mount battery, $279, not very cheap. So, I mean, and it's big and heavy and clunky what, compared to this. So this gives you half an hour with the well making. I don't know how much this gives you, probably more than that, but you could have four of these, which give you half, each one gives you half an hour for the price of one of these. So I still think this is a better way to go. But there's, I'm giving you choices here. All right, speaking of well making, remember in this Snoop video, I talked about how there's different spotlights from different companies and how I, the well making has a version of it. Well, I got two of them. They're only 170 bucks, which is considerably less than the Godox version. And it works quite well. You can vary the size of the spotlight. It comes with gobos. You can put different patterns on there. It comes with little gels and things. It's really well made. This is probably the cheapest spotlight attachment for Bowen's mount that you can get, but you can adjust and stuff with the levers. And uh, this is uh, by uh, Well Making, same company that makes this light. This is only $170. Oh, if you do use V-mount batteries, you can get some DTAP cables that you can plug into a DTAP splitter that you can then plug into your V-mount battery and then power multiple lights off of one battery, which is really cool. So that's my little miscellaneous updates on lighting stuff. I love, work. I mean, this, this just excites me so much. This thing, this is the most exciting thing I bought, I got. It's like it's the little things that excite me, not the big expensive stuff, it's the little things. This, this, you have no idea how this makes my life more, uh, wow. I mean, I could do some, create creatively, I could do more with this now, because I, you know, when I just like to use AD 200s. This also fits on the AD 360, that's actually what this, this thing is for. This is an ADS2, and this is what I normally put my diffuser on. And this was originally made for the AD360, but it fits on the AD200. It's an ADS2, it only costs $8. Probably the best, most versatile reflector slash diffuser you could ever get, and it's portable. All right, that's it. Hope you got something out of it. I'll keep you up to date with my latest discoveries. Until then, have a good week or happy holidays, whatever it is. Okay, <laughs> bye. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so happy.